everyone, it's Rachel Iris here. Hi, how are you? Uh, if, probably if you're watching this video, not too good at the moment. So I wanted to just take this time with you today to just relax, get comfortable, sit down and to uh, position that's good for you and sat on a nice comfy pillow and I have my legs crossed in a meditation position and I wanted to let you know that if you're going through a breakup or if someone has hurt you in some way and you feel like someone's maybe been disloyal to you or caused you some kind of pain and suffering um, and I want you, wanted you to know that if people do things to hurt you whether you think that's intentionally or unintentionally um, that it all stems from something so the way that people deal with situations and react to us um, can sometimes take us out take us through a lot of discomfort and make us confused to why people would talk to us or treat us in such a way that we've taken personally. And I, I want you to know that whatever somebody else does to not, for you to not take it personally, to understand that although what someone's done may be may hurt you but you can get over that because it can leave us feeling like we're not enough like we need to be someone else or act like someone else or something do something else and and it can take our mind on a roller coaster of different emotions and extremes of feelings that can sometimes really make us panic and take us out of any form of balance that we thought we did actually have and these moments really shine on us in, mo in times where it always feels like the worst time when this happens and if we live day by day and feel like someone is hurting us who we're intimate with or close with and that's any form of relationship um, it's not okay to allow somebody to treat you badly it's not okay so personally I would recommend to not react badly to the situation that's happened but to really think about your options and what you want in your life and to really take care of yourself because the way the pain that you bring on yourself now you're prolonging that pain and worry and anxiety when you can stop it at any moment. And the way you stop it is by turning around the way you're looking at this situation that's happened. So say if you've gone through a breakup, this may be the worst thing in the world for you right now. And it may feel like your heart has been crushed into a million pieces, or maybe because someone's done something bad to you, That's that's making you feel in those same ways and and it's okay to experience that I would say do listen to this and close your eyes and do meditation and take time in solitude to think of 
your options and what you can do to improve your life and yourself to make you feel better because you're important now this is your time so no matter what that other person is doing they could continue to cause havoc in other people's lives or do things to hurt other people or continue to do things to hurt you but always know that it's your choice whether you stay and remain in this form of relationship or whether you decide to leave and I know how hard that decision is I know how difficult it may seem but what matters away from that decision is what you do with yourself and your life. Now please take the time to write down, to journal, to focus on what it is that you want to do with the rest of your life, with your future, and really focus on that. And no matter what, it, can, it will always change. And so maybe there's a time in the past where you have felt this same situation or a similar situation and felt the same emotions and feelings that are coming up right now. If you think back to that time and then you can realize that you know that you will get over and time moves on and everything will always constantly change and you will get past those feelings because you have done before and you will do again and it I'm afraid life has these ups and downs and has so brings us so many different battles and wars and we feel like drained and exhausted to keep going through this over and over again but we need to make sure that what our mind is doing is calming down and not reacting badly to these situations because if that happens you will feel more stressed you will get ill stress makes you ill okay so you want to stop the worry stop if you want to tell everyone you've had a heartbreak you know that's again prolonging this feeling Honestly, you could be crying your eyes out right now because maybe I'm speaking truth to you and maybe I'm being honest with you and maybe you understand and maybe you resonate with what I'm saying but maybe it hurts so much and you don't want it to be true and I know that feeling. I know how much you don't want the truth to be real and how you wish it could go back or change or be different in some way, but it can't be. You are where you need to be right now. So say that to yourself every single day. I am where I need to be right now so if the experience is good or bad keep that balance and focus on yourself your life your self-love and self-care and self-exploration and sit with those feelings of discomfort and pain and suffering and know that you will get past them, that you are strong enough, that you are enough. You are enough. And you don't need anybody else 
to show that to you, to prove that to you, to reassure you. All you need is for you to know that, for you to love yourself. And once you love yourself, you will attract the best kind of people into your life. But you've got to take these actions and I know how difficult it is. But I know you're strong enough because I know I was strong enough to get out of things where I felt like it was impossible. Absolutely impossible. But it's not. At the end of the day, it's your decision what you do. And no matter what decision that is, whether you stay, whether you go, one thing you should always do is look after you and live your autonomous life the way you want to live it, not the way somebody else wants you to live it. Do not change for anyone. Change for the better. But don't change the goodness in your heart and the decisions you want to make for yourself for someone else and what they want you to do, okay? Find the love within yourself. So maybe we can just take a few moments to just sit here in the comfortable position that you're in. Put your hands flat out onto your knees, rest them on the top. Let's begin to close our eyes. Just look down to the floor and gently close your eyes for a couple of minutes. Just feeling this light meditation. Just sitting here with your feelings. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel sad, lonely, scared, anxious. Just allow these feelings to come. Watch them. Sit here with them. It's okay to feel this way. Say to yourself, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel this way. I am enough. I am enough. It's okay to feel this way. And I am enough. I am strong and I have courage. To plan my life the way I want to live it. Doing things that make me happy. I am strong. And I have courage to plan my life the way I want to live it. Okay. Just focus on the breath. Long breath in. Four, three, two, one, and long breath out. Four, three, two, 
one. And repeat this a couple more times. remembering that this moment will change. And taking time for yourself right now is the best thing that you can do. Best thing to make you feel better. To help you through. To guide you through. your heart and send lots of love, lots of light and kindness to yourself, to your heart, to your pains. Breathe in love. Breathe out the pain that you feel inside. Okay. You can now take your hands back down to your knees. Start to loosen up your body. starting to feel a bit calmer, understand what you need to do next. Pen and paper I definitely suggest writing it down and expressing your emotions in any creativity, any creative way you can. So from me to you, I send you so much love, so much light, and so much kindness. And repeat this video whenever you feel these 
strong feelings emerge again. We know it takes time to overcome any form of heartache. Okay, take care.